Okay, this is Jose Trujillo, the world's greatest living artist. Let's see what this whole deal is about. I've been trying to drink some coffee, but I think that my coffee. I did buy hot coffee. What's happening? How's it going, beautiful people? How's it going, Pamela? Art, Hilson, what's up? Arquitecto, I like that. All right, I'm gonna start painting because we're going to go on a painting marathon today. Okay, painting marathon. We're gonna kick some serious booty. Serious booty. We're gonna kick some serious booty. All right, we must, must get the shoe on the road. So let's see what this looks like. My amigos, my friend Amundos. Here we go. So I do this little lives just to kind of chat and introduce myself with people. I know that not many people uh, join my lives a handful of people do but I'm cool with that because because it's 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 fun it's good it's a good thing I like it you know sometimes all you need is just a good group of friends to hang out with you during the lives so we're gonna do some seascape right here we're gonna do a really cool seascape okay check it out and then what we're going to do is we're going to make a, a huge uh, sun or moon or whatever you want to call it. We're going to see what this is. Dude, this is super crooked, but we're going to fix it along the way. Okay? Something like that. <laughs> What's happening? Okay, so there we go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start painting some little birdies in there. Some little birdies. They might be seagulls. I see seagulls. I don't know. They might. Hey, it could happen. They might end up looking like bats. Who knows? Man, my work is all over the place right now and I am having so much fun having all this work all over the place. Thanks to some friends who are helping me market my work. Marketing and selling it. So thank you so much, my friend Amundos, for helping me market and sell my work. It makes me super 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 fun super happy and i mean what else can an artist want other than having all these friends market their work and so hell yeah so that's how we're gonna do this i don't want them all clustered in there because i know birds of a feather and all that good ish but i want i want some I want some rogue birds out here. Look at my birds. That's what my birds look like. Oh, thank you so much, Pamela. Pamela? I'm like Pamela. Pamela. That's like the nicest thing I've heard today. Thank you, I appreciate that. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get in there and we're gonna start we're gonna start making that that moon. Oh no, it's a sun. I think it's a sun. We're gonna make it into a sun. Because only I think only bats would would fly on moonlight. Look at that! Ooh, mucho bueno. Let's do it over here. Ooh, mucho bueno again. Yeah, guys, I'm having such a blast being able to to create artwork, share it, being able to just you know be part of of this jam with. Uh, with the whole online thing, online, what is it, online uh, social media, is that what they call it, the social medias, hell yeah, 
I don't even think, I don't even know that was a bird, but we're gonna make it into a bird. Why not? It's already there. I, was, I think that was just me messing up um, my circle to begin with. Look at that. Mmm. Mucho bueno. Mucho, mucho bueno. Mucho bueno, baby. Did I get some serious? I get some serious joy out of this. So, if you're an artist and you're not getting some serious, like serious joy out of this, guys, I highly recommend you watching my watching my show, watch my show, because uh, it's contagious. You know, it's all about what you're watching, right? You could be watching the news. Hey, no, no hate on the hustle. Some people like watching the news. I get it. I like watching the news from time to time. I like to stay informed, but but sometimes it could it could be very negative. I mean, the, the news are always negative, but but sometimes it could be very very negative for me, right? And so, I mean, I get it with the news. You know, the the news keep you informed, but also keep you very negative if you're not careful. And. You don't need me to tell you that. I think everybody knows that. Um, so whatever you watch, I think uh, we need to be a little bit more responsible with ourselves, right? More responsible with ourselves, and and pay attention to the to what we're what what we're paying attention. Pay attention to what you're paying attention, because as an artist, I want to keep my mental attitude. Positivo, and so I need to watch positivo stuff, much of positive stuff. I need to I need to watch other cats winning and having fun and painting and and I know that that life is not always that way. Sometimes life is a little hard. Sometimes life is is you know I mean sometimes life is di is difficult. I get it, but for the most part I I want to I want to stay positive. I want to stay positivo. 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 Don't let the reality of life, the reality of things, take you down and wear you down. There is much more you have in you. Okay, I mean this, guys. There's much more you have in you than whatever's happening around you. And so, we can do much better. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm, mucho bueno, baby. Mucho bueno, baby. Now I'm going to go into the sky because the sky's the limit. Reach for the sky, not the stars. Reach for the sky. Look at this. I'm gonna make some color. Ooh la la, baby. You know, I always say baby, and 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 sometimes I get I get some some uh, cute cute little old ladies on on YouTube telling me, stop calling me baby. <laughs> it always cracks me up because I'm like, yeah, baby, and they're like, I'm not your baby. <laughs> I'm like, this could be us, but you're playing. <laughs> You're playing hard to get. All right. <laughs> Man, I have so much fun during the day and at night. I also work at night when I have a chance and I, I have some fun at night too. I just don't do any lives at night because everybody's sleeping, except, except people in other parts of the world. But most people don't understand me in other parts of the world, you know? So it's like, it's just like thumbs up and like, some, some people do, some people do, but most, most don't. Look at this. That's what I'm talking about. Mucho bueno, baby. Mucho bueno, this, this sun. Look at this. Ooh. 
But I feel like listening to Nirvana. I'm gonna put some Nirvana on later. In the sun. I haven't I haven't listened to Nirvana in a while. I'm gonna listen to some Radiohead. I just can't do Radiohead for long periods of time because Tom York is is a very sad character. So I, I I love the dude, but it's like listening to Fiona Apple. You know, I can only listen to Fiona for like a couple of songs. I I, I love the chick. She can she's like she can play. She can sing. She's a great musician. I just can't I can't do sadness for for long I, again. Right? I can't I can't do news other than just informing myself with what's happening. Oh, okay, cool. That's happening. All right. Uh, but I can't do news or I can't do uh, certain music that I really enjoy for long periods of time because it's too sad. Then all of a sudden I start thinking about existentialist bullshit, you know? Like, why am I here? What's, what's, where am I going? <laughs> I, I start thinking about all kinds of weird stuff. And same thing with the news, right? I start thinking about all kinds of, all kinds of weird shit. I'm like, what's going on? Where am I going? What's going to become of us? And I'm like, dude, no, I can't. And I'm not saying like, like I stick my my head in the sand because I don't. But but I, I can't. I just can't hop on that train. I can't hop on any train. I don't like hopping on trains. They're dangerous. They take you to weird places. Look at that. Mmm, what's your brain already? Someone asked me, oh, this was on, on, on Facebook. They're like, hey, wh why do you paint the, the the background last? It seems like it's harder. And it really isn't harder. It, it feels that way because most of us want to kind of, we want to we finish the painting, but not this ombre. I don't want to finish the painting. I, I want to I wanna have fun with it. So I don't do the background first. If I do the background first, what ends up happening is that because I paint so thick, uh, it ends up fighting. It ends up fighting with me. The, the, the paint, the canvas, I don't like it. It's just, it's a whole deal that I don't like. Unless I, I unless I'm doing a, a specific technique that I paint the background first, but I paint it very thin. And so for, for specific the techniques, I do that, but not for everything. Because it kind of pisses me off when I'm painting and, and then the, the, the paint is like running everywhere and I just, I'm not, I'm not a happy camper. If you guys have any questions, feel free to post them. I am super, super chill. I'll answer questions. If, if, uh, if the question is uh, posted, I'm gonna look at it. In the sun. Look at this, man. That's what I'm talking about. See? I don't want to miss this. Look at that. Just fun. So all the stuff that's taking my time lately, it's been my, my, uh, my painting workshops and marketing painting and marketing workshops that i've been doing man that's been taking some of my time I, i'm really enjoying that it's it's been it's been a ride honest to god i've been working on some new ones lately some new workshops that i'm going to be uh posting uploading to to my monthly subscription and and those are pretty kick-ass too Muchas gracias. Molto grazie. Molto Mario. Man, I, I miss Molto Mario. Whatever happened to Molto Mario? I think it's funny you always talk about Molto Mario. Dude, because I used to watch that with my mom. <laughs> Such a mama's boy. I used to watch that with my mom. I used to be like, hey, let's watch some Molto Mario. Because my mom was into cooking. She's always into cooking, you know? She's like, hey, tell me what they're putting there. And, and she always got it wrong, too. She would always get it wrong. 
she'd be like, that's parsley, right? That's parsley. And it wasn't parsley. It was like some other thing. And I was like, no, mom, I think that's mint. And she's like, no, 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 no. He just said it right now. It's mint. No, it's parsley. And I was like, Phew. she used to make me watch Molto Mario because, uh, and all the other cooking shows because uh, I could translate for her. You know, she, she only spoke Spanish. And, and, and so she was, she was always trying to get me to, to uh... so finally I got it, right? Finally I got it. I was like, dude, this lady is not listening to me. I'm going to tell her it was parsley. And, and I, I learned the subtle art of, it's, it's a very delicate dance of just saying yes. <laughs> just saying yes. When someone's like arguing with you, just say yes. You know what? You're right. Uh, it, it helps. It helps around the house, too. <laughs> I, I learned the subtle art of, of, of learning how to be wrong. It's okay to be wrong. You know, just... Even if you think you're right, practice being wrong. It's, it's humbling. <laughs> it was with my mother that I learned that, that art. She was like, oh... I think I think that's chicken and I was like no mom you could clearly see that it's beef she's like no 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 they put chicken on that I was like all right they put chicken I was like F it, whatever and so so I'm cracking up right because Mario, Mario I think Mario Batali was his name uh, the dude is saying what he's putting in the food right the, the, the dude is he's like he's giving a, a cooking class right and he's talking about the condiments and 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 the stuff that goes in there and and my mother like she's still fighting with me about it and she's like no they put this so man it's it's very humbling to learn how to be like you know what mother i think you are right i think you're right it's one of the best lessons i've ever learned just just learn how to say that yes you're right just practice it go you know what i think you're right it's true and then she caught on because she was very smart, right? And she's like, you're just telling me that now, huh? I'm like, no, 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 no. Well, even though you're just telling me that, I know I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> I do that with my wife. Huh? I'm smart man. I'm going to this box. Okay, you got it. I just didn't, I didn't want to say that, Roger. I didn't want to say that. <laughs> I, I, I just said that I learned from my mother. <laughs> Man, there's, 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 there's only, there's only, uh, there's only room for, for one, one uh, king or queen at home. And, and, and that room is reserved for my wife. I tell her all the time, baby, you're right. You need some help me here? No. All right. Mama didn't raise no dummy. I, I, I know how to... I... I, where, where did I hear this? I think it was... I'm not religious, guys, but from time to time, I started listening to this dude. What's his name? Uh, Joe Olstein. He cracked me up. You know, he would crack me up. Uh, oh, can you just lock the door? Because I already turned the car off. Yeah. So you would crack me up. Saying some stuff like that. Just a second. Yeah. <laughs> La verdad que sí. Hey, so check it out. I'm going to 
I'm gonna put some uh, some a little bit of light maybe into those birds try to see if I can do it with some blue Look at that. It's really it's really simple guys. It's not that complicated. This 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 whole deal that I'm doing here, it's not that complicated. It's just a matter of having a little bit of fun with it. Look at that very very simple stuff I think this is a little crooked though the, the line I, I talked about it in another video why the line is so crooked some people may not believe me but my eyes are not completely uh, perfect in window I got I got some interesting stuff happening in my eyes. <laughs> well, I had not anymore. I just had to get them checked. Uh, I had a, I had a, a ret retinal tear in my eyes. Uh, severe stigmatism and retinal tear, and and so I had to have uh, uh, surgery repair. Not to sew that thing back on. They do it with laser. It's super. It's super interesting because when they're doing it, it, it feels really funny. In the back of your head, it almost it's, it almost feels like like they're doing it in the back of your eye. I know nobody needed to hear that, but it, it was it was it was a fun, interest not so much fun, but it was an interesting experience for sure to have laser that laser surgery. Look at that. And I think that's that's that with this painting. I mean, I, I I could keep adding stuff and whatnot, but I think I think I don't know what you guys think, but I think that this is good. Good is good enough right here. Let me see. Maybe a little bit darker down here. But I'm telling you guys, it was an interesting thing growing up with. Uh, my mom that didn't speak English and wanted me to uh, translate everything that was happening in TV on TV <laughs> the subtle art of agree of agreeing is hands down the best thing to learn it's a, it's a very ninja art I'm gonna start another one, guys. Hold on, all right? Hang on, hang on, hang on, muchachos. All right, let's do the next one. How's it going, Alicia? Good to see you here. Hope you're doing great. Let's see what this thing looks like. We're gonna paint the we're gonna paint the a, a, a little a little birdie, but but this one's gonna be uh I gotta I gotta try to see if I can make it a little modernist. Let's see. So the way that I do it is I just start out by doing a little silhouette. Okay, just a little sketch with black paint. Very simple.
Oh, nice. <laughs> Look at that. Boom, baby. So I'm going to get some of this black and blue. Okay. And we're going to put it right here. Look, check it out. Mmm, mucho bueno. Mucho bueno. Yeah, sometimes I, when I first got my when I when I first brought, brought my dog to to uh, the studio, um, it was like nonstop getting paint. He would get paint on himself all the time. It didn't matter from where. It was like it was a nightmare because I couldn't really clean it. It it was something that had to uh, cut his hair down. Get paint on himself he knows but when he was a little pops man he was he was getting paint all over and not just on him but all over the all over the house because I had a I had a studio home I, I was renting a house that I turned into a studio and and it was all over the place man it wasn't it wasn't fun at all look at that That's this this little painting is sweet already. So I'm going to be auctioning this painting, okay? I'm going to be auctioning. You guys are going to be witnessing the paintings that I'm going to have at auction on eBay. Um and then uh tonight I'm going to be working on some other work. That sounded funny, working on some other work that is going to uh, my other websites the, that work is not going to go on ebay it's going to go on sachi art cherish uh, ebith there's another another uh, uh auction site that i sell my work on and 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 uh there's another another 10 or 15 websites that i normally put my work on in and so it's gonna go for those but the reason why i'm always like screaming about the auctions let me turn the light on here in my studio because it's very dark the reason why i'm always screaming about the auctions I'm like, hey guys, go get the auctions. Go. I, I, I'm sure that I'm that some of you may be like, dude, I get it. You sell works on, you sell your paintings on eBay. But the reason why I do this is because it's the only place where you can get them at like really, 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 really extremely reasonable prices. As a matter of fact, very, very crazy low prices because you're not gonna get the work at any of those prices anywhere else. Like you're just not. There's no way. Some people try to lowball me on other websites and I just, I don't play that game. I, I only play the auction game on eBay. And, and so they're like, hey, but you sell this, you sold this on eBay for like, for like $60, this painting. Uh, why won't you sell me this painting for $60 on Etsy? And I'm like, no, dude, that's not how it works. That's, that's an auction. That's, that's, a, that's an event. It's something for you to go, go have fun and, and try to win it. I, I don't sell my work for that price. That, that's that's I I auction it. I auction some of my work, not all of my work, some of my work, so that people so that people can have some of those paintings, at and 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 not and not feel like they have to go spend, I don't know, their life savings or whatever. And so I get really excited about that. That's why I keep I keep talking about the eBay website. It's probably one of the 
probably the most thing that I talk about here, other than lately I've been talking about my my uh, platform uh, where I'm teaching artists how to how to paint the way I do and how to market the way I do, so that they can get paid some cake for the work. Oh, thank you so much, Alicia. And so that, that's the reason why I do it. I, I want to be able to get my work in, into the hands of people who like artwork, not just not just people who can afford it, but people who can who like it. And 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 some people, some people, it's not that they can't afford it, or or most people, not some, most people, it's not that they can't afford it. it. It's that it's that they don't know me, and so when they don't know me, why 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 are they going to go spend? Uh, two, three thousand dollars or five thousand dollars for a painting if they don't know me, and so that's a way for me to to uh, establish a little relationship with people through the auctions. You know, now people know me; they 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 hear me; they have a painting at home, and it makes so much more sense. By the way, those of you who are learning how to market your work, it's very important to make some of your work extremely available. I, it doesn't matter what it is. It might not be your paintings. It might be your prints. It might be something else. It doesn't matter what it is. But something has to be available so that so that um, so that people get to know you. Like for example, some of the things that I've noticed that people make available on Instagram or or on TikTok or or other uh, social media platforms. Um, is that they do they do uh, uh, painting tutorials, full on painting tutorials, like they show their, their, their how when they went and they and they bought the paint and they put it together and they squeeze the bottles out and whatnot. And it, it, they might not be a lot of them. They might not be a uh, um, professional painting tutorials, but but it's good enough for someone who wants to get started. And so I see them doing that, and 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 that's what they offer. They're offering painting tutorials. Something has to be available, you know. If you don't make things available, um, it's very difficult to capture people's attention. Something has to be available. And so I decided to make my work available at auction. Even though, even though that, that I, I, don't, I don't get what I would get. I, I, of course I don't. I never get. Very rare. It happens very rare. Uh, I don't get what I get in a, in a gallery through an auction, but I but I but I I get to share my work with a lot of people, and so that makes me very happy. As more people find out about what I'm doing. Look at this birdie, man! This is a birdie right there. So I hope that makes sense for uh, some of you out there who are looking to to promote yourself and sell your work. It's very important to make something available. Notice how uh, usually my, my, my videos or my social media doesn't get that much attention because because I, I, I didn't crack that there. The way that I cracked it is that I make my I made my work available on eBay. But uh, had I not done that I would have made my work available here or or uh, painting tutorials or something right I, I, I would have made my work available on on YouTube through uh, really nice videos on on how to paint and whatnot I mean I, I do make some of that but I don't I, I, I don't think that I dialed it in like other people have on YouTube some people have done it some some people have done a really great job making some really amazing YouTube videos. And people go there and they try to learn some stuff and whatnot. And, and so that's how they become available. Look at that. Mmm, mucho bueno. Let me put my signature on that thing because it just, it, it sounds like something, sounds like a job I can do. Boom. Trujillo is the name. Let's make it happen.
I'm going to make it happen. All right, let's move on to the next painting because cause I'm on a roll. Let it roll, baby. Let it roll. I've been playing a lot with blue lately. And I, I might start changing it up. I don't know. It, it kind of happens automatically. I kind of shift. I, I shift as... as I start getting tired of it or I start looking at something else and, and then I shift. And it happens kind of uh, natural. And so maybe I shouldn't even say anything. Maybe I should just keep painting and see what happens. That's probably the best way to do it. But I have used a lot of blue lately. All right, let's move on to another painting. What I want to do now is I want to paint some jars, like some mason jars with like stuff in them. I don't know, people put stuff in mason jars. So you get this canvas and maybe I'll do like three mason jars together and, and have those uh, kind of like farm, far, farm style, farm life type of stuff. Do I frame all my paintings? I don't. I don't frame all my paintings. I I offer framing. Uh, well, it depends. I, I shouldn't say I don't because it depends. On on some on some uh, on some instances, I have to put a frame on. For example, when I'm sending them to a gallery, I I, I have to put a frame on. Or if, if they're small, if they're larger, I can get away with not having a frame. Because they look pretty, they look pretty dope. Um, but but for the most part, I have to put a frame on if they're smaller. And for example, on eBay, I don't frame anything. On eBay, what I do is I upsell the frame. So I I I I, I let people know on the listing. I don't I don't announce it. Like I don't go and and and, and contact them or anything like that. I, I I write it on the listing, and people know. You know, people that follow me, they know. They're like, "Hey, dude, can you frame this painting for me?" And so I'll just I'll make a I'll make a listing for them, just for the frame. You guys can go check it out on eBay. I have a, a Jose Trujillo private listings. Most of most of them are frames, or some of them are um, um, some of them are what do they call them? Uh, commissions. Some of them are commissions. If people want me to. People want me to commission something, paint, paint something for them. Uh, let's see, the ones that you don't, do you go back and paint the edges, uh, upscale the frame? That is a good idea. Upsell, yeah, upsell the frame. Uh, yeah, upsell, upselling the frame is, is the best thing I did. As a matter of fact, no one was doing it when I started doing that on eBay. And I mean nobody. Nobody was upselling frames. And because I, I did my homework. I was looking at everybody. I was looking at how everybody was selling. And then I realized, oh my God, none of these, none of these people know how to sell artwork. Because by that time, I, I had a lot of experience. Because I, I started selling my work on Craigslist. And I had a lot of experience selling my artwork. Uh, I, I, was, I was selling lots of it. When I jumped on eBay... I I was already a, like a, a little master salesman of artwork. eBay was just a new platform for me. And I realized that nobody was selling frames. And I was like, oh my God, this is a perfect opportunity. So I started up selling the frame. Now if you go on eBay and you watch, uh, even on Etsy, but if you go especially on eBay, nobody's upselling. I mean, everybody's upselling frames now. Uh, but it wasn't a thing that... that, that that you that you did or, or people didn't even didn't even announce it they didn't even made a, a, a like a little banner next to the painting I have a little banner next to my paintings on eBay where, where it says hey if you want the frame let me know and so I, I upsell the frame uh, most people don't take it most people don't but I learned how to get most people to take it <laughs> I learned I learned I have ninja ways I'm telling you guys you guys want to learn how to do what I'm doing 
you're gonna have to you're gonna have to hang out with me. You're gonna have to hang out with me. You're gonna have to be part of my monthly subscription. Hang out with me. Listen to what I'm saying, because I got some cool ish to share. I started selling more frames on eBay than actually frame sellers on eBay, and I know this because I was friends with a couple of frame frame sellers, like people that sold uh, lots of frames on eBay. I started selling more frames than they did, to the point where they were scratching their heads. How come this? How come this bastard selling so much, so many frames? Uh, I started selling so many frames that some artists that even some artists that coached with me, uh, and, and they do pretty good for themselves, that have coached with me, um, started asking me, "Hey, dude, is the whole eBay thing a front? Are you are you just are you just selling frames?" <laughs> they started asking me that. I, have, I had three people ask me that. Imagining that the whole eBay thing wasn't was maybe not real, and I was a, I was just a, a frame seller that happened to know how to paint, you know, kind of like on YouTube where you see people that are like, uh, you see people that are, I don't know, they're they, they're talking about a specific subject and they're really great at it, but they're not really selling that. Like I see some people that do like firearms because I'm in Arizona. Everybody's like about firearms here. And so, so I got into it too. Uh, not a fan, not a big fan, but I got into it for, I don't know, culture, I guess. And so I see some people that are like, yeah, firearms, and they're like shooting all over the place. And like, uh, and, uh, this, this specific older man, he, he does that. And, and I found out what they were doing, and I was like, oh, these dudes are selling bullets. I get it. <laughs> they're selling bullets. You know, that, that's, their, that's their business. But I, I, I promise to G.O.D., I'm not selling frames <laughs> because... Uh, uh, I'm a painter. Uh, although that wouldn't be a bad gig. But some people did ask me that. Hey, what's up, Jay? How's it going? And so they're doing like like firearm instructions and whatnot and reviewing firearms. But at the end of the day, you realize that they're really just selling bullets. <laughs> That's really what they're doing. They're selling a brand of, of something. Uh, and so it was interesting for to get um, to get friends of mine asking me that you know other artists they were like dude i gotta go to your studio because i feel like you're just selling frames you're not really selling paintings uh that that's that's really more your thing because they, they realized how many frames i was selling well because i told them you can't really see that i'm selling frames on 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 ebay you can't really see that because i don't i don't have listings of frames i just upsell the frame And there's a trick to selling the frame. It's a, it's a, it's, it's, I have a method. But no one was doing it. You know, when I started, no one was doing it. Now everybody's trying to do it. And, and I'm sure they're selling, but not at the rate that I do. I, I know that for a fact. Not at the rate that I do. Simply upselling something is extremely important if you're in business. Upselling is always very important. And look at those jars, man. They have the little thing covered. Boom. So yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter what you're in, what you're into, as long as, as long as you you communicate it properly to your to your audience, right? Whatever that is. You communicate it properly, then then the audience doesn't feel betrayed, doesn't feel cheated. I think if you're honest, you know, you're like, dude, you know what? Really, what I do sell is. Um, I don't know, whatever, some other thing. Uh, like I feel like, I feel like the whole like Disneyland, right? Disneyland is not. I don't think Disneyland's in the in the business of rides. Like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna get people to come and and because we get so much money from our rides. No, Disneyland gets all their money from the little from the little stores and probably the, their kitchens. All the little stores, all the little, all the little. Uh, uh, stuff that they sell you not little but you know what I mean the hats the 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 gift shop right the gift shop I, I, I think I don't I don't think Disney makes anything from the rights like, I, they, they never charge you for the rights it looks like they're charging you for the rights but they're not charging you for the rights 
the, the, the rights are what I talked about in the beginning. You have to give something away. The rights are just uh, to lure you in. They're charging you so that they can sell you. They're charging you an entry fee so that they can sell you on their gift shops and all the other stuff. And you can't say no, you know, you can't say no because you got the kids there and, and, and you know, the, 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 the wife wants the sweater and the kid wants the, you know, and you can't, that's what you're there for. So, so it's, I mean, Disney is like, Disney's like the, the master at sales. Last time I was there, I was like, man, how did I, how did, how, how did I leave all this money here? What the hell is wrong with me? I'm kind of glad it's close right now, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, top dress jelly jars. There you go. Yeah. I don't even know what these things are called. Thank you so much for that, Alicia. And so, yeah, this is... Disney's, Disney's hardcore. Disney doesn't care. Disney's like, Disney is like Santa Claus. Santa Claus doesn't give a damn whether you have money or not. They're like, hey, dude, I'm coming. You're buying. I don't care. Get yourself in debt. I don't care. But I'm. you're going to buy something. Because if you don't, you're going to be a bad person. You know, that's, that's, that's the message. And it's like, whoa, dude, I don't want to be a bad person. I, 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 I got to make this thing work. And, and I mean, that's society for you, you know, it, good, bad. I don't know, but it just is, it is what it is. There's no point in arguing about it. There's no point in, in getting upset. It just is what it is. But it's society. Look at that. What's happening, Jay? What you been up to? Uh, I don't paint edges, by the way, on my paintings. I hate that part of the whole thing. I used to. I started doing that when I when I started. I was doing that, and I I, I didn't like it. There, I have I have a few reasons why I don't like that, and so I I don't do that anymore. And people ask me, they're like, hey, dude, when you started, you used to do that. Can you do that for me? I'm like, nope. I'm sorry. I, I just, you know, I've evolved. <laughs> I've evolved. I don't do that anymore. I love that. I, I love that, Alicia. We went by. <laughs> Jesus only had three. Here's your call. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, that, that's, that's what we got to do, Jay. That's what we got to do. We got to keep painting, man. Got to keep painting. Yeah, I, I, I got to start practicing, practicing some of that. I mean, like, I'm going to be like, hey, look, Jesus, Jesus got some coal. It was, was it coal? I don't know. <laughs> Something. It was gold, myrrh, and I don't know. Was it coal too? I think no. Coal was a uh, Santa Claus, no? I think I'm confusing. I'm I'm I'm, I'm confusing. I'm confusing uh, uh, stories here. Now you guys can't get me talking because I'm gonna start saying some nonsense. I'm gonna start pissing people off talking about nonsense here. Someone's gonna be like, "How dare you compare Jesus to Santa Claus?" I'm not. I really wasn't. I was comparing. <laughs> I don't believe in neither one, so I'm sorry. But I was comparing. I was comparing stories. Okay, that's all I was doing. I was comparing stories. <laughs> now I gotta start blaming you guys, cause cause you guys are the ones getting me to talk about all this stuff. Look at that. Oh, it was, it was Krampus? Krampus? Did I watch that movie? Uh, part of it. Uh, uh, about about that 
Krampus, Santa, uh, the, the, the mean Santa Claus, I guess. The other, the other, not Santi, but 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 not not. He's definitely not a saint. <laughs> and uh, it's a weird movie. I'm not into movies. My wife is all about them movies. She's the one who tells me, you know what? See, I, I, I'm an immigrant. So my background was like, as soon as I got here, it was like, put this kid in school and then get him a full-time job. I mean, that was, that was my story. As soon as I came to this country, it was like, get this kid in school and give him a full-time job. That, that, that's, that's, what, that's what immigrants do. That's what he's going to do. Uh, and so, so I didn't watch TV growing up. So my wife is always like filling me in with all the, all the, all the TV stuff, all the movies. I, I didn't, I didn't know shit about TV. I didn't grow up. I didn't play video games. I didn't grow up like that. I, I grew up with a, with a mean hustle, <laughs> mean hustle. I, I worked full time as a kid. I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of people listening to me probably had the same experience. Uh, I worked as a kid full time, went to school, and on the weekends, I'd go door to door to sell tamales. That's what my mom had me do. And, 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 and then go to the swap meets and sell tamales in the swap meets. And so that's what my mom had me do on the weekends. So I learned how to pitch at a very, very early age. So I, I, I did not have... Um, I did not have a, a, a typical upbringing. I didn't grow up hanging out with my buddies in, uh, I don't know, at the, playing video games or, or, or at the pool. I, I didn't have any of that. It, it was different. It wasn't sad because I loved it, but it was different. I did think it was sad growing up. I was like, oh, shit, man. Like, why am I not doing what these other kids are doing? What the hell's wrong with me? But as years went by, I was like, dude, because I'm an immigrant. <laughs> we do things differently. Look at that. There we go. I should pay tamales for mama? Yeah, I, should, I definitely should. Your wife <laughs> went to bed nice. Very cool. Yeah, I've been I've been into blue lately. I don't know why. I've been thinking about like painting blue stuff. It's time to go to the next one. Let's do the next one. Boom. Next one. Uno mas. Uno mas. So sometimes these videos end on their own and I can't really find when they, uh, when they end. I can't really pay attention. Sometimes I catch it, many times I don't. I just want to apologize uh, ahead of time that I have no idea when the videos end. And so, so just uh, FYI guys, if the video ends, I wasn't trying to be mini weenie. They just, they just end without my, my consent. Tamales next? I love that. I might paint some tamales, but but uh, but I I, I kind of have a lineup already. <laughs> but I might do some tamales. I prepare my lineups. Is that what it's called? Lineup? Like when you put your your whatever you're gonna do, uh, organize it. I prepared uh, my 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 paintings a day ahead. And many times I don't, I don't really know what the hell I'm doing. It's just an idea. And many times, it's it goes according to plan. So it's it's very weird. Forty five minutes when it ends. Yeah, but but I can I can't catch it because I'm painting and then I'm kind of looking, painting and looking through the you know on the phone, and so I can't really catch. Uh, when the timer, you know, because it gives you, I think it gives you a few seconds and it tells you, hey, this video is about to end. And so I apologize uh, in advance because sometimes it just ends and, 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 and it's ended while I'm talking to myself, you know? And so I, I sometimes, the other day it ended and I had this mean long conversation and I was like, man, 
this was I, I dropped some really cool stuff here some 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 gold nuggets you know and no one listened to it <laughs> it had ended for like ever <laughs> I, I just had a, a personal monologue I guess all monologues are personal but I, I had a I had a monologue with myself there it was the weirdest thing then my wife was like who are you talking to I was like well I thought I was on live I guess not. <laughs> Cliffhanger. <laughs> so yeah. So most of the stuff that I'm doing right now, uh, I'm just really excited. I'm growing my my uh, my audience i guess sales sales audience i guess is that how we would call it i don't know how we would call that um my reach into other stores and other platforms uh, many of them are are a little different than your your typical uh, etsy ebay type of stuff uh, and i'm also working very 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 hard right now on on the monthly subscription where I am showing artists what I'm doing and uh, and how to do it when it comes to painting and marketing and all that stuff so that's that's really taking most of my energy at the time I'm really excited because it's something it's different I, I fought it for a long time I was like dude I'm not gonna teach you know if that you know it, it, everyone can learn on their own i'm not going to go and teach this and then i, I kind of i saw the light right the light just opened up and it just it was it was crystal clear i was like dude what are you doing you got to be helping people what the hell's wrong with you and, and i got this whole uh, aha moment where i was like oh my god i should be i should be teaching some of this stuff and then bam i started teaching some of it and then it turned into it turned into teach everything dude don't just teach some of it and, and that's where i'm at right now i'm i'm gonna teach everything the whole the whole enchilada and a tamale or two in there as well did i miss my mama's tamales i do miss my mama's tamales it ain't happening no more no no mas i mean i guess i can get tamales but they never taste like mom's you know not even a, a peanut butter jelly sandwich you know doesn't taste uh good if you know if someone else does it if like if you had your 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 your, your grandma do a little chicken soup or or even a peanut butter jelly sandwich man like nothing tastes as good as as, as the hand of of the loved one yeah just give me a second guys because I, I gotta tell this kid to Come down. Hey, dude. Hey, I, I need you to come down a little bit. Okay? Uh, Thank you. Man, have mercy. Jesus Christus. My my kid uh my kid is here with me. I'm not sending him to school. So he's on the Xbox when he's not when he's not doing those those online classes he's on xbox and man that kid can scream who else has a screamer at home who else has a, a an xbox screamer people have been telling me to to uh to chill but it's hard to chill sometimes i'm like dude i'm the only one who can scream here it's me Arr, and stuff <laughs> Dude, when I was a kid, I didn't I didn't have video games, so I, I have no idea why they're screaming at each other. But then I think about it. Then I think about it, and I'm like, well, I used to scream at my friends. You know? I was like, dude, don't be stupid. It's this way. You know? The, 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 the times that I had friends to, like, ride a bike or something, I remember screaming at them. So maybe that's what they do on Xbox. They're, they're, maybe that's why they scream at each other. All right, this video is about to end. It's got 15 seconds. Dude, I caught it. I'm so glad I caught it. I'm going to have my phone charge for a bit. I might go to uh, to Facebook 
and do a live there? 